Hi, it's Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We sold our 2018 Thor Axis and bought a new 2022 Outdoors RV 28 DBS. We moved out of our 2018 Thor Axis on April 2nd, 2021 after living in it full time since June of 2020. We enjoyed our 10 months in the Axis but we had decided that for the RVing we wanted to do, we needed more of an off-road setup. The Axis had 39 gallons of fresh water, allegedly, and 30 gallons of black and 40 gallons of gray, with about 8 gallons of propane. With those limits, we couldn't even really do a full week, even carrying extra water. We had installed a very sweet solar lithium battery inverter system that worked great, but we were still limited by those tank sizes. We still like the Axis model, but there were some other issues that sort of bothered us. The hot water system was not so good, and there wasn't much insulation in it, and the front window was either a greenhouse or an ice box, depending on the weather. We also had real low ground clearance between the Axis RV and the Fiesta car that we were pulling. I had seen the Outdoors RV brand from watching the Adventurous Way YouTube channel and was very impressed with the factory video tour they made. We started looking at what models they offered and decided we really liked the 28 DBS. It's about the same length as what we had, but a little wider and a much bigger slide where it counted in the main living area. There's no particle board anywhere and it's built to be mountain tough. It has an actual stove with an oven and an oven vent. It also has a much bigger fridge, 100 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray, 40 gallons of black, and basically 16 gallons of propane. Rhonda and I had agreed that after living full-time in the Axis for about six months, we would decide if we wanted another RV. I think I was the one that cast the first vote for the Outdoors RV 28 DBS, but she was right there with me. Now, how to get one. There are no ORV dealers on the East Coast, and we didn't find any used models on RV Trader. Actually, we had only seen two outdoors RV trailers in all our travels. It's a small company in Oregon, so most of their sales are in the Northwest. Adventurous Way had also profiled Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon as the dealer they used. We subscribed to the Thompson RV YouTube channel and watched Corinne in the videos. So I had called Corinne at Thompson in early November and she said that model would not be built again until June and available in July, if we acted fast, as they had most of that run already sold. So the deal was to buy it sight unseen and wait seven months. We were hooked and gave them a down payment of $500, which was refundable if we changed our mind. COVID crazy time had helped us to sell our rural home very quickly, and RVs were selling fast. Rhonda didn't want to miss the bubble, so we started staging the RV by cleaning out anything we didn't really need, took pictures, and wrote the ad for RV Trader. We wound up selling it the day the ad came out to someone we met from our YouTube channel. She's great and is enjoying it now. We had sold the Fiesta and bought the Ford F-250 King Ranch diesel in February because we wanted it, and I let Rhonda talk me into visiting a dealer. My primary vehicle had mostly been pickup trucks forever. We love the space and the luxury of this truck. Hey, heated vibrating seats. Moving out of the Axis, we had to put some stuff in our storage unit and we had the bed of the truck full of boxes, the back seat full of our clothes and stuff we needed on a daily basis. It was crowded. On July 20th, 2021, after three and a half months of living in Airbnbs, hotels and mom's basement, we were able to pick up our new home. We were so ready. It got really hard moving all our belongings in and out of the truck. Moving day was fun. We stayed in the Thompson RV parking lot for a night, got everything stored somewhere. We got the hitch installed on the truck, had a couple hour tour of the new RV and how everything worked. Most of it was familiar except hitching it up to the truck. Our next hurdle was getting a Florida license plate for the trailer. We had bought a 10 day Oregon temporary tag and drove off to camp at Wild Horse Casino in Pendleton for what turned out to be 12 days and we still didn't have a valid tag. We wound up taking almost four weeks to get it. We had it mailed to our friends in White Whitefish, Montana. It took 15 days for first class mail to get the tag there. After living with the new RV truck combo, we have found we have plenty of space. 
We use the back of the truck for fresh water, electrical, blocks, chairs, outdoor rug with plenty of room left over. We have one big storage compartment where I keep tools, grill, chocks, stabilizer bars. There's another storage area that has an external door that opens up under the lower bunk. It houses cleaning and maintenance supplies with lots of extra space. Two days after picking up our new RV, we had the opportunity to do an outdoors RV factory tour. It was really interesting as they were still building the 28 DBS model that we own. Unfortunately, they don't allow pictures during the tour, so all we got was some outside shots. It was well worth the time and less than an hour from Pendleton. It's hard to believe it is two months since we moved in. We've been enjoying the mountains of Oregon, Montana, Wyoming, and South Dakota, mostly with no hookups and often no internet. Our Ford F-250 diesel has all the power we need to comfortably go up and down in the mountain areas we have visited, so that's great. Our next big project is adding more solar, lithium batteries, and an inverter so we have full access to everything we need while we're boondocking. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.